Okay, we're, today we're going to talk about setting superheat and subcool for blended refrigerants. This one's a sticky point for an awful lot of people. It was for me for a while too. So in order to really understand this, there's two things you need to know. Bubble and do. Some of the charts show a bubble and do for refrigerants in the 400 series that are zeotropes and some of them near azeotropes. Okay, they're blends of refrigerant that come apart. Okay, so what does bubble and do mean? If I took water at atmospheric pressure at sea level, Fahrenheit would boil at 212 degrees. That's its bubble point. Now if I took steam and cooled it to the point where it would turn back into water, that would be its dew point. Okay? Well for water, it's the same temperature. If the pressure stays the same, bubble and dew point are the boiling and condensing point of a single fluid, it's the same number. Simple as that. Okay, the only reason we ever use this silly thing is if we're using a blended refrigerant that has two or more refrigerants with different boiling points at a given pressure. We have a range of bubble and dew. Okay, here we have a portion of a PT chart. That I think this is 401C. What it's showing you is bubble point and dew. And there's a difference between the two. If you look at the bubble point, you've got 30 and you've got 52 at the dew point. So that's the glide between the two refrigerants that are in it. Difference say bubble point of 30 and dew point of 52 if there are more than one you know more than two refrigerants in there those are the two refrigerants that have the farthest difference between their bubble and dew points. If you're reading for superheat you need to use the dew point because that's the last bit of the refrigerant that has evaporated before it starts superheating. And that of course is, a, is the refrigerant that boils last in the evaporator. Subcool is for the liquid line and it's the last refrigerant to condense and complete condensing. That point is the bubble point. So those are the two different numbers you're going to use for bubble and dew to determine superheat and subcool. So when we are doing subcool, so when we're doing subcool, we use the numbers in the bubble point column. And when we're doing superheat, we use dew point. That's really all you need to know. Dew point for superheat and bubble point for uh, subcool. They always seemed a little backwards to me, but just try to remember them that way. When you're determining superheat, you're going to go off the dew point numbers. When you're doing subcool, you're going to go off the bubble point numbers. That's really all you need to know about it. If you didn't use these numbers and you tried to go halfway in between or something like that, your superheat and subcool are not going to be correct because you want the last of that liquid refrigerant to be boiled off to do your superheat and the last of the gaseous refrigerant be condensed in the condenser before you start reading subcool. So hope that one is understandable.